Hello, hello, hello. Okay, guys, it's me. It's Elle here to do a reading for you, Aquarius. Um, I, is this? It feels like it's kind of like lopsided for me. I'm looking at the camera on the screen. I know, right? Perfect timing to start fixing and adjusting, right? Um, okay, a few announcements. I don't know how to say it, but I need to say it. Okay, I will not be reading the tarot on YouTube ever again, but the channel will still exist, but it's going to kind of morph into something else. So this is the last reading for Aquarius. Uh, I have my own reasons. I've been guided. Just, yeah. So uh, this is our last reading together. So let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Aquarius with a clear concise message from you and I'm so rigid in my thinking sometimes I'm like well this is my schedule so I need to still do it but I've been you know instructed that I need to stop I need to not do this anymore anyway um this is not a, a belief thing it's more so um well maybe I'll do a separate video as to why right um, why I won't be reading for general, I won't be reading for personal, why I won't be reading the Torah anymore. But um, I I'll be here and I'll be sharing with you other things. It'll be more spirituality. Uh, it'll be, you'll learn, you'll come to this channel. And if you want to learn things, you'll come. And if you don't, you won't. So it is what it is. Um, all right, let's get into it. So we're going to do romance money and then spirituality all right so let's see what do we have for aquarius in terms of romance what do we have for Aqu okay knight of cups so you some of you could be dating someone someone you have fallen in love or you've already fell in love or, or whatnot um this could even be you just getting back out there and maybe meeting someone new with the knight of cups it says that you're ready there might be a, a bit of unrealistic expectations yeah five of cups so i don't it wanted to flip out so unrealistic expectations the knight of cups is aquarius and scorpio so you could be dealing with the scorpio five of cups is scorpio maybe there was i heard postponement i don't know maybe the relationship has been postponed until further notice there maybe there needs to be someone someone here needs to grow up they need to get a clue um someone misses you Definitely the Knight of Cups here. Somebody is missing you. Turn this light out. It's hot. All right. So um, someone is missing you or you're missing someone or is mutual. Okay. It says that the relationship, again, is recoverable. It's a postponed, you know. Um, but it's about you both doing the work to come back together. You both doing the work. Because in the, the right or wait to row, it's a bridge. So it's about building the bridge and, you know, walking across the bridge, meeting each other halfway, understanding that you want to have this fight for, you know, this connection, get through these circumstances that rest between the two of you. This could be regret and resentment. Maybe somebody regrets what they did, what they didn't do, what they said. They put you in the back burner. They lied to you, whatever. You could miss them. They could miss you. Knight of Cups, though. Um, maybe someone's trying to make a gesture to you. Let's see. What else do we have for Aquarius in terms of love, romance, page of swords? So we've got spying. We've got lack of communication. Or somebody's saying, I don't want to communicate. It's going to turn into an argument because of somebody's, you know, mental immaturity. Or somebody feels like it's always like the mental gymnastics and what you know we gotta we gotta jump through hoops to talk to each other you know i I've, I've gotta come ready studied up on the subject on the matter someone just doesn't want to have a conversation because i heard like disingenuous so maybe you feel like somebody is disingenuous um they could be coming to um this could even be like bait you into an argument with the page of swords they could be spying on you looking at the tarot this is what you're doing they're doing it i don't know Yeah, it's like gathering information. Um, 
if somebody is trying to be more romantic, maybe they know that they need to do that, be that. They weren't that. Somebody just feels like the other person is extremely snakish or a snake or can't be trusted, um, manipulative. Um, okay, I heard like big shit. Big shit has been talked about. Either you, Aquarius, you talk big shit about your ex or your person or, or they did this to you. I don't know. Like somebody was talking like cash money shit about you, you know, like just making up things. This is an Aquarius card. It, you know, it doesn't have to be you. Could be you. I don't know. Um, or it could just be about you, you know. Um, yeah. So this is like the subject of gossip. You know, I don't know. Maybe your person made you the subject of gossip. One last card for Aquarius in terms of love. Somebody just told all kinds of lies about you. They didn't care that they didn't know the truth or, or that it wasn't true. You know, they were committed to defaming maybe your character slander coming up. Ten of Wands. So it could have been that this relationship was karmic, karma, the karma that we create for ourselves by engaging in situations with either little to no intentions. Or we're hooking up in the in the beginning we were just hooking up and having fun and hooking up and having fun and then you try to make something out of hooking up and having fun when initially how it started was no intentions. So a lot of times you carry the weight of this relationship, the ten of wands. Be intentional about everything you do. Any every little thing you do, you know? Uh the ten of wands. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Sagittarius season could be significant for you. Maybe some big blessing will come into you. Somebody could have been talking a lot of, you know, stuff about you having to move or make a move. Or somebody could have been talking a lot how they made you do everything. They they you carried the weight of this relationship. They took you for granted. They knew that they were taking you for granted. This could even be some of you trying to hide behind busyness to not deal with certain situations, or this is what this person has done, is doing. Let's do one thing. Yeah, so I can see that. All right, yeah. Um, the Ten of Wands. Heavy burden. It was a lot of doing stuff in this connection, but not knowing where it was going. Like, just we keep hanging out, we keep having sex, we keep eating at restaurants. But uh, where's this going? And now we get the Ten of Wands. Somebody could want to tell you something or... You got a big secret that they're holding back. I'm curious about this now. The Page of Swords and the Ten of Wands. What is this about? The Eight of Swords. Somebody thinks about you or thinks about a situation over and over again. Oh, it could even be like, how do I get the Aquarius back into this chaotic situation? Or this is you. How do I get them back? You know, um, chaos, eight. Um Multiple personality, depression, waiting for the Calvary, waiting for someone to come and rescue you. Or the other person is, oh, okay, so if you're not talking to them, they're waiting for you to reach out to them, Aquarius. is driving them absolutely crazy that you're not reaching out or that you won't argue or that you've released the burden or you're dropping it or you're silent or vice versa. This is how you feel about somebody else. What's, what is to become of this Romantic situation. Three of Wands. So it looks like somebody takes initiative. Okay. Uh, if somebody takes initiative and they try to come back and get your love. Um, I don't know. Maybe you guys rectify the situation. You 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 take the lead here. You show the other person the way of how to maybe take the higher road. Three of Wands. This could even indicate sometimes being strung along. I don't, this could even like create, recreate. So maybe you guys are gonna come back together and try to recreate this relationship. Communicate.
This could be in the distance, though, okay, or the long distance, or, yeah, long distance, or this is, like, in the near future, maybe around spring. Somebody could have a spring birthday, wedding. What is this? One more card, three of wands. Strength card. Okay, so you guys will forgive each other, whomever this is. Um, Leo, Scorpio, everybody's here, okay? I don't see any earth. No earth. So there's like a lot of emotions and thoughts. So it's like calculation. I feel this way, but let me go into my mind and figure out how I can get or what I can get from. So there's like not even like trying to make the relationship real or true or ground the energy, but it's more so like this could even be recovery. Like, so someone knows that they're losing you, Aquarius, or you know that you're losing them. And it's like, how can I recover? Yeah. How can I recover and get the Aquarius, you know, back in the loop or vice versa? This is how you feel, Aquarius. How can I get this person back on the team, back believing me? You know, being compassionate, forgiving. Someone's trying to maintain their composure also towards coming towards you. They want to reach out. You want to reach out, but you hold back or you or they hold back. It's lack of trust in this connection. You don't trust them. They don't trust you for whatever reason. This could even be ego also for someone, someone here or both of you. I'm not going towards them because they need to come towards me. I'm not talking to them because I talked to them. I made up with them last time. They should make up with me. They should chase me. It's a lot of mystery in, in regards to what the other person is doing. Who they're engaging with. Maybe even who they're having sex with. and It's just like. Somebody would rather live, somebody's living definitely rent-free in somebody's mind. Let's see what your money looks like. What does Aquarius money look like right now? What does Aquarius money look like? What does Aquarius money look like? Queen of Swords, are you getting real firm about some decisions you need to make? The Queen of Swords. Getting real executive and professional about how you're going to make moves and move forward. Yeah, because it's geometry and measurement. So it's like you really get real calculated. You know, cutting, cutting the, trimming the fat. I don't need it. I'm not buying it. Um, I hadn't used that gym membership. I'm cutting it off. You know, you, so it's like you're really getting really serious. And maybe also about the future. Like, I'm not trying to do the same thing over again. Because she severs ties from the past. You know, because she's trying to go into her her future. So it's like, maybe in the past I was fr uh, frivolous with my money. I was careless. I was an overspender, indulged a bit too much. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm cutting that out or I'm cutting something off or out. The Queen of Swords also talks about advisory, like going and getting advice before you make some decision too. The Queen of Swords talks about tough lesson. So maybe you learned a tough lesson in your money. Maybe you, you fumbled the bag. You fumbled the ball. You had the bag. You blew it. You whatever. And now you're just like, no, never again. This could be, you could be an exec, you know, an executive. You're over a lot of people or over your own business. Um, but you're still looking at the metrics, the reports, the you're analyzing your business. So this could even be, okay, so we're coming up on the end of the year, end of year um, analysis, cash flow, all of that, right? You're using your intelligence to, this is setting you up to make some move here, some strategic move. You learn from the past, like, I'm just never going back to that. You may say, I'm never going back to being broke. I'm never going back to being homeless. I'm never going back to, and you just, you're really making some choices here. What is this about? Yeah, Ten of Cups, hard work paying off. 
There could even be like um, a friend or a loved one comes to you with a, a business idea. It says, you know, you could do it, but do look over the details. Hence the queen of swords, like get advice, advice, advisory before you just say, yes, yeah, my friend. So I'll do it, you know, be advised. Hard work paying off some fortune, a fortunate change after a very difficult period. And the Queen of Swords has gone through difficulty. That's how she learned. That's how she has great advice to give. That's how she is the exact now. She's been through the gamut. She's run the gamut of, you know, this, that, and the third. So let's see what else is going on for Aquarius. So it looks like you're coming out of a season where there was lack or there was, you know, you had to learn. And they're coming into reward, award. Um. Ten of Swords, yeah, breaking some type of uh, curse that you felt that was on you in terms of your money and your your foundation, generational wealth. You could have had a conversation with somebody and got some clarity about <clears throat> maybe money or what was due to you. The Ten of Swords... This could talk about curses and generational curse and so forth, but it talks about collapse, disappointment, you know, being blindsided and calamity. And it could even talk about failure. So it could also talk about ending, you know. It's the end. You get so 10 10 could be significant for you. So you're coming into a season of her milk and honey. Okay. Um, because you've been through this, the Ten of Swords, you've already endured, you've already learned, you've already come into, um, you've already had your tough season, your tough time, the wheel. So the Wheel of Fortune is the Ten card, right? And this, these are Ten cards, so the wheel turns for everybody, right? Maybe you were on the downside of the wheel, you was out here learning tough lessons, you know, struggle on the struggle bus, get off the struggle bus, get back on the struggle bus, off the struggle bus, get on the, you know, maybe that's over for you because you've gotten serious, Queen of Swords, about your finances and your career and making executive decisions, making the best decision for you. You learned something. What else do we have for Aquarius in terms of career finance? Five of Pentacles. So you're coming out of. Ten of Swords, Five of Pentacles, uncertain, um, maybe self-employment, not having enough, not getting paid what you are worth, uh, robbing Peter to pay Paul, uh, making just enough, feeling like you're being used, maybe in your own business or at your job. You're coming out of that. You're coming into understanding your self-worth. You're coming out of poverty. Because the Five of Pentacles, the story behind that is Greek goddess uh, Penia. Uh, she's a god of poverty. So she goes around and she's knocking on everyone's door. And whomever lets her in, they have a hard time getting her out. So the story in that is, hey, we all suffer ups and downs in life. Because the fives are about temporary energy, right? It's about um, maybe chaos drama mitigating the circumstance right so if, if penia comes into your house and you have a hard time getting her out what it says is look we all go through temporary hardship but it should be just that temporary it's not a lifelong uh struggle bus and if you find yourself struggling for an, uh, a lifetime <clears throat> you need to analyze self you have no major arcana here Aquarius said, it looks like some of you have done that. It says that, okay, you go through the period of not having a lot, right? But it's about to change because fives are about change also. Um, yeah, you go through the period of not having enough, right? Don't rest in that energy or don't rest in the woe is me and I'm just going to be poor for the rest of my life. That's you allowing Penia to never leave. It's hard to get her out, out of your house 
but you can is what the five of pentacles says you know um don't just say well this is my lot in life there could be destitution homelessness um that some of you had to suffer but but the cards want you to know it's temporary it's the making of you. It's the setting you up for. Some of you could be going through this or you've already gone through this. What is this about? For my Aquarius career, finance. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, it's the change that is happening with you. Five, two of Pentacles, seven of Pentacles. Setting you up for maybe the restriction. Seven of Pentacles is Saturn. Saturn is father energy. So tough lesson. You know, God, you know, chastises, corrects those that he loves. So maybe it's like a corrective measure in your life. Like it's tough, but at the same time, you can't, um, you can't negate the fact that you had your, your hand in it too. Life is not happening to you. You gotta look at it like it's happening for you. It's just setting you up for something. The two of pentacles talks about change, juggling transferring money looking over the accounts the profit and the loss and we talked about that with the queen of swords trimming the fact i don't need it i won't have it if it's a want and then if i have extra then i'll i'll have it but until i get to this certain goal i won't have it so this could even be you really getting tough with yourself and your finances the season or the season of course we're going into the holiday season where we buy gifts, we travel and do, you know, so forth. So it's like, um, you're looking over that. You're doing a lot of work. It says what you do in the two of pentacles, hopefully shows up in the four of pentacles for you. It's a lot of reconciliation. So you going over the account of like, okay, I spent um, something, something thousand here thousands there you know whatever whatever and you're really analyzing how you can govern yourself accordingly you also are learning at the same time while you're making these changes intuitive awareness you're keeping it all you know up in the air which is good juggling because you know that you're being watched other people may want to see you fail, stay homeless, or stay without, or they want you to lose things. What else do we have for Aquarius and career and finance? Two cards came out. Woo! I see why. Then I said life is happening for you and not, you know, um, to you. You got the King of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. It's like... The universe is setting you up for a goal so that everything your hand touch turns to goal. There is material wealth. There will be. Four of wands so that you things can come full circle for you. Maybe so you can get that new home, redecorate. Um, four of wands, travel, meet loved ones. It talks about um, being in the capacity where you, you feel like you want to take loved ones out. Show them, you know, a good time. Pay. You you foot the bill. And the four of wands talks about, um, yeah, I, mean, I heard like travel. So the struggle is temporary, was temporary, was setting you up for the king of pentacles. So what the king of pentacles is, so look, it, in all of these cards, Aquarius, for career and finance, right? Outside of these two that we just pulled. You had to be an analyst. You had to analyze yourself, right? So that you could, uh, and you had to go through with the two tens. The only way through was through. You, there was no shortcut. There was no alt, control, delete, nah. It was through. You had to go through it and you're done with it, right? And now the wheel is turning for you right now. It may be tough and tough and you don't feel like you can see it. But that's the seven of, of pentacles here because um, harvest is coming for you. 
mitigate these circumstances, navigate the waters, navigate through, you know, these tough times, hold on, wait for it. Because back here, you had to make executive decisions. Well, I guess I will let the house go or let this car go or I, I've got to cut out some of my subscriptions or blah, 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 whatever. That's what you did with the Queen of Swords. Now you're coming into kingly energy. So and the best, one of the best kings for earthly, you know, material money. And you're coming into um, maybe even making money in your sleep. You're coming into having the Midas touch. You're coming into being very practical. He is mathematical. So the universe wanted you to get to a place of understanding universal law, but also earthly law. It takes money to make money. You have to save money. There's a time to spend. There's a time to save. Um, calculation uh, with the Queen of Swords. Um, calculated risk. Um, not throwing it all away. Um, not betting the house. So the King of Pentacles, this is somebody who's systematic. So you could, so what this was is, okay, I know what I need to do and I'm going to cut that stuff out. And now I'm going to come up with a system of how I'll operate maybe for the duration of my life. So now I'll have rest, peace, harmony, four wands, stability, four, stability, home, children, maybe a home for children, uh, longevity. I'll have, um, you know, that happening for me and my finances and what, uh, I'm, I'm going from king, queen to king, which is great. So the queens are the doers of the Torah. So what you were doing is trimming the fat. I don't need it. And now you're going into king where you just, you exist in the energy of abundance more than enough. It talks about this king is, you know, wealthy, rich, um, secure by way of his own hand. So this was somebody who had to be the queen of swords, you know, analysis, analyze, so that they can then be strategic, mathematical, practical, right? So that, you know, the money could find them because they've already, you know, made a house for it. Wow, house for wands. So you were wanting all of these things, Aquarius. You were wanting all this abundance, wanting all this money, wanting that new house. Wanting whatever, but your mindset had to change. And you had to go through something. So that's really good, Aquarius. Very, very, very good. So what these cards tell me, you have no major arcana here. It's all about you and how you look at your position or disposition. Um, Keep going. It says wait also. And everything, go to God. Whatever your God is. I don't know. We're not going to get into that. But in everything, you... You get some extra money. You get a bonus. You don't say, okay, well, I'm just going to go and, I don't know, whatever, blow it. I'm going to just stick it in the bank. I'm going to stick it under my mattress. No. Go to your God. God, I've got this extra $10,000. What do I do with it? How do I make it grow? Ask your angels, your guardian. What do I do? How do I make it grow? I want it to grow. I want it to be more than $10,000. This is how you're going to. Um, this is how you're going to see wealth, abundance. Um, yeah. King of Pentacles says answers questions. So you got to go. Ahead. You have not because you ask not. You make, you're making your own plans and then you want God to bless them, but it was supposed to be the other way around. You know. Let God give you the plan, the path, and then it'll be blessed because it came from God. So some of you just need to shift your thought process there. All right, let's see. Um, spirituality for Aquarius. Justice. So making a decision here, knowing that a decision... You're learning a lot, Aquarius, right now about spirituality. And, and maybe that's why you're becoming very de decisive in what you will engage in and what you won't. Um, you also feel like you need to go backwards. There could be recompense, a repayment, a reward of maybe you being dutiful and your spirituality. 
Okay. Something is old. You oh, you may have worked off some karma. Oh, high priestess. Two two. So um yeah, you know a decision has to be made. You become very wise, especially if you're feminine energy. If you're a woman, this is a lot of feminine energy. Some of you were like born witchy, witchy, you know, like you were born with a gift, you know, and deciding that you need to um, maybe foster that gift. Because the, the high priestess talks about, you know, knowing that you have talent, gift, and needing to go get under mentorship so you, that you can cultivate and foster that gift. That gift could be anything, singing, dancing, reading, uh, psychic abilities, blah, 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 and so forth and so forth. But knowing that you need to foster that gift. You got, these are two very cards of like inner knowing, also knowledge, express knowledge. What is this about for Aquarius? Wow, you getting some big ass visions, Aquarius. Like downloads straight from the heavens okay occult knowledge hidden knowledge things that feel bigger than you you know like you don't know how to even put it in perspective share it with the world it says shows visions of the world you you might be coming into a teacher advisory role aquarius uh, spiritual leader, practitioner, I don't know. What is this? Five of Swords and a Magician. Somebody don't want you to have it. Somebody don't want you to do it. Reversal, interjection, interference, the magician. It might be a false prophet coming to you, Aquarius, and maybe trying to derail you. Okay, the magician talks about um, channeling, right? Channeling from the divine, but everybody's not channeling good energy from the divine. You got to try the spirits, you know, and anytime you get quote unquote divine knowledge or you channel some type of uh, message or whatever, you, you, um, Make sure that it, it's in the light. It was about, you know, light. It's not go find a kid and kidnap a kid and go get a chicken and smear the, you know, like, make sure it, it's, 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 it's kosher, right? This is somebody is who is, like, being, like, governed by seducing spirits, five of swords. Um, this is like mental manipulation. Somebody's allowing themselves to be manipulated mentally. Somebody could be trying to interject, disrupt. What is this about in terms of spirituality? Oh, your progression and you moving forward. So somebody could be trying to come back. And again, a false prophet telling you that they got a message that you guys should be together or that you should work together. What is this five of swords and the magician? Looks nefarious. Four of pentacles, queen of, yeah, this is somebody here who wants to win at all costs. Um, who is more so concerned about... This could even be for my men. This could be somebody, uh, a woman coming to you, very beautiful. You know, she's got some real nice words in regards to how to, you know, sell herself. It's like somebody's trying to take something from you, either your gift, your money. The Magician and the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody's coming to you calculated. Somebody knows it's a very lucky season. Could be dealing with Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, anybody here. Um, definitely Capricorn showing up. Virgo. Gemini. 
Ooh, question somebody's motive as to they question somebody's motive. This looks like, you know, spiritually somebody's trying to get you to her backslide or because the five of swords can sometimes talk about reversal, right? And it can talk about um yeah, reversal and um interjection, interference. And it's aggress aggressive or aggression or self aggress like this is somebody who's coming at you very aggressive, like trying to sell themselves or sell this dream. It's like they want to plant something with you or plant themselves in the midst of whatever you got going on. Can you give Aquarius one more card about this spiritual? It looks like it could be spiritual warfare. Six of Pentacles. This is all about your money. This is all about your money, your prestige, your, um, your giving nature, your... This is the good and bad of giving. There's somebody trying to take, make, take, usurp, maybe even like slide in, wiggle in, snake them, them their way in. Half, like, okay, like, half, I don't know, somebody wants half or... Yeah, like, I don't know if y'all went half on something or, or somebody wants you to. Something about a 60-40 split. Somebody could be a writer. Somebody has uh, some really profound gifts here. Spirituality is just like you know that you need to maybe separate from somebody, make a decision, cut out somebody who you can't trust. You can't trust their words. You can't trust them because this could be something about industry. Also, somebody's trying to sell you, sell you on them. Like, well, let me be your manager or sign this contract or we should have negotiation. Whatever they're saying is a lie. They're going to have you doing all the work. You get 40%, they get 60 I don't know what this is about. It's But it's definitely about money. You know, and spiritually, like, the universe is trying to talk to you. divided effort to so th this is like okay the spirit is saying this person comes back and they're a very aggressive nature you need to question their motive they're going to come back as the salesman the magician trying to sell themselves or sell their idea they've got some bright flashes of inspiration in regards to what's going on with you and maybe how you're the queen of pentacles you're doing a lot to earn money right now you got money you got the bag or at least you know how to maintain and what they want to do is get you to be divided in your efforts. I don't know, give to them, pour into them. They want some of your power or your money or your name or your reputation or your prestige. or They want to associate themselves with it. The Four of Pentacles talks about trying to exert your will. So the universe is trying to get you to a place like, I don't know, like somebody's going to try to come and exert their will for them on you. Like, well, I feel like, or I think, and then they try to push it on you. Like, well, don't, you know, it forceful, but it talks about a, st a stagnant, stuck, toxic connection, agreement. Oh, Four of Pentacles says if you feel like you need to go in business or do business with a partner, it says go it alone. Go it alone with the Four of Pentacles. Because some of you are coming into newfound wealth, legal, sue, you sue, suing someone. Somebody could be trying to come back. They know you got this money. 
They don't want you to have the Ten of Pentacles. And the card says, if you allow this person to come back, you won't have it because it'll be divided. You know, you'll be given to them. They'll always keep you at a, they'll always be taking more than they give. That's what, the, that's what they were saying to me. Always be taking more than they will give. Okay. Okay. Got it. I'm trying to turn something on here. Hold on. Um, okay. And it always keep you. Somebody wants to share in your fame. You might become famous. Aquarius for a pentacle. For your gifts. Somebody wants to share in it. You'll never see the full manifestation of this relationship or like you never have real stability because you'll always be giving more than you receive. If you deal with this person, this could have something to do with support. It's somebody who's a liar, they're lying, will lie at any cost, all costs. Could be a mother of the queen of pentacles or a mother, a working mother, or she's trying to work you. I don't know. It says that you're going to win, though. Something about suing or court. All right. Um, I guess I got to make it good since this is the last reading. Maternity was on the top of the deck. Deserving. Some of you are deserving, express, especially in the career and finance. You've done the work. Okay. I love how you dress. You're fashionista, fashionista. You got the Queen of Swords coming out. She looks like money. She's the executive, like like royalty. Dang, your card flying out. Somebody loves everything about you. I love your smile. But I, I don't know. You, they know that you're not willing to compromise, and that's why they're coming up, like in the love sector. They try to like devise a plan of how to come at you or how to get you divorcing yeah you could have divorced or you are divorcing your body is perfect so somebody's really stuck on you know the physical here or maybe that's what they used to tell you to get you going um to get you stuck um, to get you like oh they really like me or love me or maybe you were stuck on somebody who had a really nice body god Go to God. Go to supreme being over all morality for every and anything, especially when you get blessing or you get material wealth. Weeks of no communication. So I heard like it could come in and it'll, it'll be an approval. Yes. So maybe it's something you waited for. No communication. And then maybe you've cut somebody off. You just, I don't want to talk to you, you know. Likeables in reverse. Maybe you just don't like them anymore. Likeability is going out of the door. Maybe they've showed you their true face. Yeah, maybe they had sex with a friend or your friend or you had sex with a friend. Love. Failure. Someone that you love, it's like failure. Somebody staying with somebody in some type of romantic situation because they're afraid to leave because this person is going to put them on child support. We just love, but it's a, it's a complete fail. Comfortable. Yeah, somebody's just comfortable dating. Maybe they don't want much. I don't know how much to get. It could be Caucasian or it like something is white. So it's like clear, I don't know, seeing through. Anniversary. Been here before. This is the anniversary of dealing with somebody who's operating in the energy of FOMO, fear of missing out. And they just wanted to keep you as maybe like a friends with benefits. Maybe they're coming out of being irrational. I don't know. This could be somebody that lost you. Let's see. They lost you, you lost them. Somebody tried to keep some situation where it was just like, oh, we just friends. Next week, something is happening for you. It's an orange card, so there's like action. Somebody who's complacent, or you, 
legacy is coming in. Very nice. Maybe even like long, long term success, fulfillment, attainment. Somebody is now straight up stalking you. To stalk somebody means that you're not close to them or you can't get close or there's been boundary. So this is somebody you cut off, right? Yeah, it's true. Now, now they're in love. And they could be like trying to do magic or trying to get you to come back. Damn, love came out again. They're just in love. Might be trying to come out of depression. This could be you or being depressed or the other person is. Somebody's not making any moves. It could be you, Aquarius, or the other person because they're straight up stalking you right now. They're okay with just kind of like being stuck in their head. And in the love portion, I didn't see a lot of movement. So like a lot of um, wanting, thinking, calculating. How can I? How can I get the Aquarius back? Or what can I do? Or, um, so keep that in mind. Um, let's leave you with these cards. What do you want to tell Aquarius moving forward? You got a lot of eyes on you. Somebody is straight up stalking you. They got their eye on you, Aquarius. They want you. They want to see what you're doing. You, I think you got more than one person. You know, just people coming under false pretense, false profile, you know, all of that, right? Could be a king of cups, somebody who you had to let go because there was a lot of emotional manipulation. They got you to fall in love with them. They really didn't reciprocate, not in the fashion that you felt like they should have reciprocated. They also could have had love for something or someone else or a lifestyle they just weren't willing to come out of. Now they're spying on you. Recompense. Very nice. Reward. Repayment. Reimbursement. Recovery of all that was lost is coming to you, Aquarius. Wow. Queen of Swords coming out again. Because you got really honest, true with yourself. And, you know, maybe this tough time is final. It says rich bitch at the bottom. So some of you are about to become that. And if you're a man, yeah. Um, you're understanding your value, too. You know, what's happening for Aquarius? What's happening for Aquarius? You also cut out things and people that just weren't adding to. They were subtracting from. Now, that could be your bank account, looking over, this is just taking, no, uh, I'm cutting that out. And it could be people. You're just going over the account of people. They come to you and they ask you, and you give. It's never the other way around, and you don't even feel comfortable enough to even ask, or they don't have anything that you need. Or that you could possibly want. The relationship is not beneficial. It's not mutually beneficial. Everybody wants to feel like they're in it together. And it's not just one-sided. If you want to rest in one-sided relationships, that is also toxic and low vibrational. Because you get a kick out of people coming to you, asking of you because you feel better than. You feel higher than. You feel like you have the title, the crown, right? And that's toxic and low vibrational. What you want to operate in are relationships, friendships, business partnerships that are mutually beneficial. We reciprocate. Now, are we keeping score? Is it tit for tat? No. But I want to be able to feel and know that this is a healthy dynamic. Some of you just haven't been in that. Knight of Cups. You got somebody coming in that wants to love you or wants to flirt with you. Or... It's a knight. You know, in, in uh, medieval times, the knights didn't marry. They didn't, of course, they didn't take a wife. They didn't bear children. Their duty was to the king. So if you kind of transition that until today, today's time, if you pull cards for yourself or you get a reading and you got a whole bunch of knights showing up. You got people who are more so committed to the king, quote unquote, their job, themselves, anything else but you. They're not committed to, you know, like a lasting relationship because they're a knight, okay? Maybe when they come into queen or king energy, whether it be a man or a woman, um, 
you could talk about commitment. But with the nights, it's the energy of, you know, they'll do the dance with you, of making you fall in love and charming you and saying nice things. But when it comes to longevity and maintenance or maintaining of a relationship, we see a lot of nights in a ring and it also could indicate like a lot of argument and um, things being kind of disarray. Some of you are coming into a level of uh, divinity, royalty, maybe even like royalty in the divine space. You know, you get hurt getting your wings. Okay. Wow, diamond, because you're the real thing, Aquarius. You know, diamonds are made by way of pressure. So you've been pressurized is what I heard. Like you, especially with this queen of swords coming out twice in two different decks, you've been put through the ringer. She, out of all the queens, has reason to be bitter, disgruntled, and overall bitch. But if she's in the upright, then what she has done is learn from those life lessons. And she could even be helping other people or definitely using, you know, those life lessons to help herself and make better decision in, in her present and in her near future. So, um, You've been through it, Aquarius, and and you you've shown real to the to to divinity, to spiritual to the spiritual realm. Yeah, there is some she devil after you. I feel like this is for some of my my men, Aquarius. So this was somebody who was chaotic, drama-filled, a warmonger, always kept things up, kept it, kept it going because they felt comfortable in that energy. We had comfortable come out, yeah. You know, some people don't feel comfortable in just positivity and just things working, you know, in a copacetic, you know, environment. They you know they'll create the drama. Whether it be you, Aquarius, or um, or someone else, she devil. She devised a plan. She was also using like her looks, her body. Somebody got you, Aquarius. Whether it be a actual woman or a man acting in she devil energy. I heard that was their plan all along. So some of you are concerned about when did the change happen? Nope, that was their plan all along. They saw a mark. You were the mark, and they went for it. Wow, I can't make this. I'm here for a good time, not a long time, the Knight of Wands. So they, were, they came in hot, you know, attractive, charismatic, Charming, charm and disarm you. Some of you awaken to your psychic abilities and start to, it starts to kind of, you know, put you in a place of understanding what was going on with this specific person. Like he's, some of you are going through like developing your clairvoyance and then also like emotional maturity. Some of you want to say, oh, I was a more emotional, mature one. Maybe because you didn't argue back. Well, that's okay. That's a good thing. But I don't know if that's the definition of maturity. You still stay. Um, I don't know. You know, oh, yeah. Okay. So Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups. Some of you dealing with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, somebody who wanted to be like, a, I heard like a fake spiritualist, somebody who was really dark. Um, they were using spirituality for all the wrong reasons. They were very calculated, a she-devil. This is what's coming to you, Aquarius. The big payback. See, that means it it was already yours. It belonged to you. You lost it. And we had, re we had recovery come out. Some of you like really paid off a of debt with spirit. <laughs> like, and they like, great. Now we can take you into the land of milk and honey. Before you make any decisions, Aquarius, get more information. 
get more information. Don't just trust blindly. Do your research. Let's pull this deck. All right, let's see who you're dealing with, and we'll close it out. Who is Aquarius dealing with? Aquarius dealing with what is Aquarius dealing? What are the dealings? You dealing with Aquarius, the innovator. Maybe you're dealing with another Aquarius. Oh, you're dealing with some maybe genius ideas. You're very unique. You're humanitarian. You're one of the um, you know, the angels watching the four corners of the world. You know. Four fixed signs. You know. Let's see. You're really coming into understanding yourself. You know, you just are what you are. Maybe you're trying to deny it, let it go, or then you don't really want to show people. Fifth house, passion. Very nice. Five could be significant for you. Five came out a lot in the reading. You could be seeing five, five, five. There's a lot of change happening with you. Today is the new moon. New moon eclipse. So something is leaving your life, Aquarius. If something needs to leave. So entertainment, costume, children, romance, disco ball, okay? Love affairs, passion, childishness also. What, what about the fifth house? Yeah, the complexity. What mystified you and complicated contradicted itself. Like, so now clashes and missing the mark all right so you were in relationships with people where there was like it was complex and maybe back to what i was saying earlier some of you were asking the question of when the change five when the change happened no this this how they were all along there was always going to be complexity in this relationship in this romance because um somebody was under the Somebody was a she-devil. The devil is Luciferian. So somebody already had like um, a well-thought-out plan of action that they would take with you to disrupt, corrupt, um, derail you. To confuse. See, in confusion, you make no decision. As long as you keep a person confused and unaware the more you can control them. So maybe this is what somebody was bringing. It, they, oh, they bring the lies, the games, the manipulation. I'm dating other people. I'm doing this. I'm hot. I'm popular. Get me why you can. They got you in a place of maybe fighting because the fives can be about war, warfare, fighting. They wanted you to. This was a, this was a devised by the devil. <laughs> So there was always complexity because somebody was always in it. And somebody was always cheating from the beginning. All right, so let's see. Moon, feelings. So Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So again, like, so you know, like, um, when the moon is in a watery sign, you know, it's the, it's the best time for you to take action in regards to warfare, manipulation, causing drama. Because before you can get anybody to make a move, a physical move, a wands type of move, right? You gotta stir their emotions, their feelings. So this was somebody who, did, they, <laughs> this was my devised in, um, studied, learned in the art of emotional manipulation, warfare. How to get you in a place of confusion so you'll always stay. Wow, Aquarius, you are really under somebody's little thumb spell, whether it be man or woman. It could be with your mother, feminine energy also. Um, Maybe you were used to this. Somebody always emotionally manipulating. They start with the waterworks and the loud talking and the erratic behavior. And maybe you just settle down and you just kind of 
you just settle in. This could even be gaslighting. This could be you. It could be someone else. You know? Gaslighting. Um, just talking over you. Being erratic. Uh, talking loud. Talking loud and crying at the same... Like, just... This is... um. This is how they wore. This is feminine energy because, you know, like I've always told you, the negative side of feminine energy is cunning. You know, it's deception. Women don't have brute force. We're not running up on people and knocking them out. Some of us can. Some of, a lot of us cannot. So we have to think with our minds and our emotions. How can I? This is and, and that's when you get that she devil energy, right? So you got somebody here who was very cunning, devising plan of action to come against you. Could be Taurus, could have Taurus in your chart. Could be any of the can the I said Cancer, but the water signs Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be a Capricorn. It could be anybody. This is a she devil. This is somebody who wanted to create this big ass illusion about them, so you really wouldn't see the real them. There she is, horns and all. Y'all like my drawing? I'm pretty sure you don't. Anyway, whatever. Um, what else? Hey guys, um, if you if you want to send me a going away gift, all you have to do is click the link to donate to our um our uh like feed the well not feed but we're not feeding them but we're actually giving our care packages to the less fortunate. There's a GoFundMe, and then there's also um, an Amazon wish list. So you can buy something from that wish list, or you can, you know, donate to the GoFundMe. Um, so that would really warm my heart, okay? If you donate it to um, the less fortunate so that we can make this thing great. And I'm going to, um, oh, wow, they want to show me this. Some of you are about to get... Some big ass payback Aquarius on this new moon. Cause you let something go or you let somebody go or you let it go. You let the emotions go. There's blessings coming in, the clean slate. This is beautiful Aquarius. Uh, I can't tell you, I cannot make it up enough. Action, Mars, which is um, B5 sometimes, desire, sex drive, courage, um, thirst, uh, leadership, competition, you know, just heat, anger. Somebody always wanted to keep you in the energy. They were always doing things, okay? Doing things to manipulate your actions, right? Maybe so you don't leave. Somebody was also trying to use sex to keep you, like, coming back. Sex and romance. Could be anybody, it could be a mutable sign because we had a lot of tens come out. Virgo, Pisces, Gemini. What's the other one? I think that was better than that. I don't know. There's one more. Um, can't think. Can't think. Virgo, Pisces, Gemini. I don't know. It'll come to me. Sagittarius, I knew, I, I couldn't let it go, right? So, Virgo, Pisces, Sagittarius, Gemini, it could be, it could be anybody though. It's ending though, I, I think you, you've come out from the spell. I see what, you're, what things look like in the future for you, Aquarius. In the future for the Aquarius. Unexpected and calm. This keep it, a lot of times this comes out as unexpected phone call, message comes to you. Whoa, marriage. Unexpected phone call. Somebody want to marry you. Maybe there's like, what is this? The, I knew this was coming out. So this is somebody tricking you. 
unexpected phone call from somebody who wants to reconcile with you, come back together with you, but they're coming back under their, their false pretense, their own motive, question somebody's motive here, because they could be coming back to deceive you. Because look how fast they want to do something. They're going to hit you up. Y'all going to go out a few times. And it's like, you know what? We should be back together. You know what? We should even get married. Like, what? No. Look who they are. A drama chameleon. Yeah. So they try to act like they're not really the dramatic one. Oh, it's you. Oh, it's the moon in the sky. Oh, it was the guy at the the cafe. Everybody else is drama. Not me. No, it is them. They're drama. What's the whatever you 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 need to apply? If somebody's going to apply pressure, maybe in regards to coming back. But whatever it is, you 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 holding off. You haven't applied. You need to apply. Um, near future. Near future. Okay. Wow. Great fortune, privileged lady, having it your way, Aquarius. Starbucks for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Be single. Queen of, Queen of Swords type of energy with that privileged lady. I don't see a counterpart out here yet. All right, two more cards for the fruit off for Aquarius. Okay, wow, a lover coming in. This could be a divine lover, like, or somebody that's sent to you. Got two doves here, okay? And then what else do we have for the Aquarius? Distant horizons, okay. So some of you are really going to um, be studying spirituality, changing your spiritual practice, going over what works for you, what doesn't, learning so much to where you kind of set yourself apart. You could go under the capacity of teacher, student, you know, um, in terms of spirituality. And so it's kind of close. Whatever your dreams are, Aquarius, it says it's close. Because if this card, here's your free lesson if you want to get this deck. If this card, Distant Horizon, is close to a significator card, and we're going to say this is you, then it says that the dream will come true. Now, if it were, if this card was like the first card that we pulled, and then you were all the way over here, it could say that the dream is kind of far off. But they're like, right, they're, what, it's only one card in between, right? And it's the lovers. So, um... This could even be a new soul contract, Aquarius. You can be doing something different for work, okay? And your dreams are going to be, you know, made true. So, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Aquarius. This is where we part, okay? Business? Okay. Well, hold on. We ain't parting just yet. Be careful. You got somebody trying to slither back in. It looks like it could be like a man and woman type of dynamic where a woman's trying to slither back in. It could be a man trying to slither back in too. Somebody knows that someone's getting a settlement or they're about to make a whole lot of money. And they're like, I need to be a part of that. Okay. Up leveling can't make this shit up. Like Aquarius, things are looking up for you. Up leveling, it's just going to the next level for you, especially in business. These are the angels in your biz. Okay, clear your energy. Oh, that's why that Queen of Swords came out twice. So she's yielding that sword, rightfully dividing. Oh, you don't mean me any well. You. Just a taker, okay? You, I don't even have words for you, but, you know, um, integration time. So it's time to, like, you need to plan rest. You need to integrate rest recuperation. Wow, manifestation. I can't make this up. 
because because I just gave you a lesson in the Kipper deck about the um, prep, about the distant horizon card. It talks about dreams and wishes and hopes, right? And it says if it's close to the significator, it, it's going to come true rather quickly. It's not that far off. And then you get the manifestation card. You're a manifesting machine. Whatever you're manifesting, what are you hoping and praying for? It's it's here, baby. This is absolutely gorgeous. Do we have any more cards? These cards are big. Um, cards for Aquarius. Social media. I know. Maybe you need to, <coughs> excuse me, utilize social media a little bit more. And your, because this is about, it says angels up in your biz, so whatever. It says about business, so maybe you need to utilize social media just a bit more. You're going to cover more ground, get more people, get more eyes on whatever it is you're doing. Look, I just read this. Your guides, your spiritual guides, your guardians will will um, create the strategy for you. Beautiful. Pray about that. Angels, guardian angels, give me a strategy for social media. They're just waiting for you to reach out. Some of you have not because you ask not. You don't ask. You you come up with the plan and then you go pray and say, hey, I came up with this plan. God, please bless my plan. And that's what really happens. Quiet. It's like, okay, maybe I'll do it. Maybe I won't. I don't know. But I, I wish that they would get it together. It's not... Um, I'm getting like somebody could even be hiding behind a, like a false uh, profile on social media. Branding. So you need to get some, some type of branding, okay? Because it's, what are you? What do we call you? What is, what is this? So you need to maybe sit down with marketing exec. How are you going to brand yourself? Everybody likes a title, right? And you don't have one, or you need to come up with branding. Tears is what I'm, tears, T I E R, T I E R, yeah, tears. So, some of you need to have tears, levels to what you do. Up leveling came out. I don't know. Who is Aquarius right now? I guess I pull every deck, right? Then I have out. This is not every day. I will, we'll be here till tomorrow if I pull every deck. All right, let's see. I saw 13, 13. So, some of you going from one dynamic to the next. I mean, like dynamic change. Dynamic. I, mean, I was poor, and now I'm rich. I was fat, now I'm skinny. You know, so it's going to be dynamic for you. It's not going to be like, oh, I can't really see the change. So, uh, let's see. Who is Aquarius right now? This had three cards, all right? I don't know. All, heal the ouch. Some of you need to do the work, have the conversation you don't want to have. Talisman. Some of you are going on a new path here. Is the book out here? Oh, I see. Details. Details. So some of you, the universe is trying to get you ready for like something really big happening for you. Um, you might need to stay still for it. Um, but you got to look over the details. It says clarity important notes and this is just hanging out here get more information so some of you need to get more information look over the details again we had the ten of cups come out and it can talk about loved ones people you adore they adore you coming into your life and maybe even maybe coming in and you know pitching idea it says yeah it could be viable it could be fruitful, feasible for the both of you, but um, you got to look over the specifics, the details. The devil is in the details. Some of you been, oh, some of you been like, oh my God. No, um, some of you, 
some of you been like, I mean, you've got an aerial view of what's going on. So you can see everything, like the bigger picture, the larger scope, but they want you to drill down on some things, maybe even some conversations. People really tell, they're very telling if you just listen to the words that they use. Um, they want you to um, read out of, you know, you don't have to read into what people are saying, but read out, what can you take from? What are you taking from what they're saying, what they wrote to you? So it's like the details, the seven here, perfection, um, making something perfect, looking over it, take your time. This could even been the universe perfecting you. So it was like time, time out. Like they put you in a deep freeze, like nothing was really, really happening for you um, because this was time to look over the details, reevaluate, stop taking a passive approach. Cause this could be um, passive approach too. Or some of you needed to take a passive approach, maybe you're way too active to where you were just doing too much. Some of you weren't finishing what you were starting. Some of you are in a place where you just wanted to show people that you can make, you know, nothing out of something, something out of nothing. Uh, you can make something out of nothing. Yeah. Um, this was like a period of impregnation. Some of you could be pregnant. So there could be like a deep freeze, like you're kind of stuck. Okay. The, the path will be made known to you with the talisman. So some of you if not impreg you know impregnation with you know a child baby um this was like like the universe like putting something within you take time to learn take time to go over take time take time i know a few days ago i got uh um strive strive to get it right so some of you need to strive to get it right some of you were just okay with it being half-assed or wrong or, oh, I've only got this, but no, strive to get it right. So details. Some of you don't, Aquarius is not a sign that really harps on, hunkers down, unless you have other placements that are significant, like maybe a Virgo placement, like as a, as a rising, maybe you got like double Virgo, moon and rising or whatever. Um, Aquarius is not a, a sign, and this is not anything against you, but it's about you knowing thyself, know thyself so that you can govern yourself accordingly, right? So if you know that, hey, I'm not really a details person, you know, and too much of the details gets me in a funk or I have to take a break from it, but they want you to look at the details in regards to something or someone This might even be going over the account of, this could even be going over your lineage, legacy, did come out, family history. They want you to flip a book, flip the pages in the book, go over the details of this. Because it's going to, right here, I don't know if you can see it, it says clarity. It'll give you clarity if you go over the details. Sometimes when you're looking at it too far away from or looking at it up here, you just need to reduce it to right here. It'll make more sense to you. Something about awareness. This could even be secret coming out. The details. Somebody was hoping that you didn't look over the details also. So they can put you in that deep freeze. It can get you stuck. Because they might even see you as the golden palace. Damn Aquarius. There could have been a time in your life where you weren't looking at the details and maybe somebody's actions, their words, just their whole movement. And they were able to pull a fast one on you, to get over on you. You were giving somebody the benefit of the doubt. Talisman, new opportunity, new tra trajectory. Something is ending completely. You're going like on a new journey, new spiritual journey. Whatever you... First, before you do any of this, you need to heal the ouch. So you got to have some conversation you really don't want to have. 
it's going to bring up some old wounds or it, it's going to open the wound again. But it says that this kind of like judgment card, right? Like, um, dig it back up, deal with it accurately, correctly, and then bury it. And you never have to bury it. You never have to dig it back up again, you know? This is like when something very traumatic, dramatic, whatever happens to you. You just push it down, you push it down, you push it out of your mind, you push it away, you put you you get away from people, places, things that remind you of it, all oh, triggers go, go but you really hadn't dealt with it. So it resurfaces in other ways, right? But they're saying heal the ouch. Something hurt you, somebody hurt you, whether it be family member from the past or the now, heal the ouch. Or you'll just be carrying it. It'll be something else on your shoulder you're carrying. Another purse. Yeah, you've got a purse, lady, but but you got an invisible one, too. You know, so you're walking around with two or three purses on. You know. Heal the ouch so you don't have to carry this stuff. Some of you never took time to actually heal the ouch, right? So that means that it never really closed. The wound never closed. It's just like a gaping, open, open wound. You know, that people can't necessarily see. But maybe when they have one or two conversations with you, they see, okay, you got some unhealed issue. This could even indicate that somebody you need to go to doctor and actually, you know, Something is not right within your body. You need to get go through some healing. With this being a 38 card, what's that, 11? It's manifesting more ouch if you don't heal it. But if you heal it, then what are you manifesting? More healing. Yay, class, you got it. So you're going to manifest healed people, healed situations, healing for others, you know, but if you don't heal the house, you just manifest more out, more unhealed people, more situations where people give you a new ouch. They hurt you. A different person, same game. They hurt you. Now you run around all these gaping open wounds. I've always said, if you've been with me for a while, this whole dating game is nothing but a, a cesspool of unhealed uh, people who are going through different traumatic situation, traumatic situation after traumatic situation. Because you'll, you'll hear of, you may have even been involved in, you may still be doing um, breakup with one person, and now you're back in the dating scene, dating market, you meet another person, but you never really took time to really go over the issues with that past person. So you got you you've got that open wound, now you're going to go possibly, you know, create another. So you got all these different traumatic situations happening after and after, you know, one after the other. Um nobody's taking time for healing. Everybody just wants to um find their soulmate. Why? So you can give them an open wound too? Like a, you, so you can hurt them? Because, I mean, that's all you have to give when you haven't healed the ouch. You're just going to ouch somebody else. Either, um, you know, uh, consciously or, or subconsciously. You know, Because that's all you have to. Just think about it, Aquarius. You can't defy universal law. If I only have $5... Somebody is asking me for $5 million. I don't have it to give. I have $5. Now you can take this $5 or, or, or nothing at all. And that's the same with the ouch or the unhealed situation. People are coming. I'm meeting a new guy or a new girl, and they want to have a, you know, a, a really great experience with me. But all I have to give is that $5 or that ouch. They're wanting more from me, but I don't have that to give. And some of you could be meeting people in that capacity. Some of you could be in that capacity. It's okay. Deal with it. Heal. 
and then pray about getting back out there in that dating pool and see what happens then okay but we gotta we gotta go through nobody wants to do it nobody wants to do it nobody wants to do it i mean i've got to have some conversations i don't want to have but i'm going to have it because i want the land of milk and honey so i don't know what you want but i know what i want and i know i'm not going to keep this stuff lingering so that you know i'm still just doing the roundabout you know so anyway you gotta heal some ouches aquarius and then it takes you on a whole new um, timeline, trajectory. You create something else, nine or four. Uh, oh, stability. This could even be something with your your mother, your home, your home base, nurturing, your foundation. You get on a whole new, you know, you get, maybe you create a whole new foundation for yourself. Some of you need to draw some, make some connections, some parallels to what's happening with you and somebody else in this timeline and that time. That's why they were like details. It'll make sense. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. We've been here way too long. I'm so happy that you are here. Um, I'm going to do a live show tonight, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It, it will be my last live show reading the Tarot, but you, I'll, I'll be here, but not in the capacity of reading Tarot cards or Oracle cards or any cards. Um, thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Again, if you want to leave me with a parting gift, the biggest gift you can make is contributing to the GoFundMe for the less fortunate or purchasing one of the items the Amazon wish list for the less fortunate, okay? And it also helps you work off some karma. Forgiving to the less fortunate prolongs life, you know, adds years to your life, Aquarius. So um, that's what we have. It's bittersweet, but I'll, but I'll be here, but not in this capacity. But anyhow, thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.